fashion team presented by Suave. It's time to get your style on, and the fashion team's going to make it happen. Get ready for an exclusive look at what the stars wore this week on the red carpet and beyond. On today's show, Sharon Stone, Demi Moore, and Ashton Kutcher cause a flash frenzy at the premiere of Bobby. Latin lovebirds Jennifer Lopez and Mark Anthony are we caliente at the Latin Grammy Awards. Then we're two stepping down the red carpet with country music's hottest stars at the CMA Awards. Yeehaw! Plus, we've got a hot trend alert. Find out what item Gwyneth Paltrow and Jessica Simpson don't leave home without. And we're dishing on the best and worst dressed stars of the week. It's all coming your way right now on The Fashion Team. Hey, Fashion Freaks, unite! <laughs> hey again, it's me, Celebrity Style Estate Eventually, so with Daphne Brogdon, FM Blair Magazine, one of my favorite magazines, Meet Blaine Zuckerman. So not a fashion don't. <laughs> not a fashion don't, not today. No. Am way. I a fashion don't or a fashion do? Do, obviously. Okay, thank oh, you. Of course. <laughs> and we're the fashion team. Now, when getting ready for a big event, there's so much to think about. Well, there is. You know, you have your hair, you have your makeup, your accessories, your outfit, and of course your shoes. And even then you're not ready until, well, you've got your nails done. Well, so for the star treatment, I went to Jessica's nails on Sunset Boulevard for what's hip, hot, and now in nail color. I'm so excited because I'm at Jessica Nail Clinic on Sunset Strip where the stars go to get their nails done. You've got to tell me what the kids are doing these days. Absolutely, absolutely. Let's go to work. All the stars, they are wearing all the dark, dark, dark colors. Now, I know Jessica Simpson, Nicole Richie, Lindsay Lohan are doing the dark colors, but, you know, I'm, I'm a tad older than them. Are other people doing this? Yeah, Diane Cannon, Mimi Joyner, Debbie Moore wears dark, very maroon colors. You know, it have to be nice and short. So you wouldn't want the dark color on the longer nails? I wouldn't, yeah. It doesn't oh. look very uh, feminine. It doesn't look oh. very elegant, but they have to be sure okay, so that the nails don't cheap because if they cheap they don't look very lovely. Assuming somebody is at home, how could they do this look on their own? First you use the oils, you massage, you put some hand creams and then you put the hand in water and you you always have your hands on the table. Take your time, put two coats of pigment first, two coats of the color and a top coat. I also noticed that you leave a tiny bit of space between the cuticle and the color. Is that yes, important? Yes, I do. So it doesn't dry your cuticle out. Start first with the middle and the middle of the nail, mm. and then turn your fingers so both sides are covered, because the first thing that nail chips is the side. And then seal the edge. See how the needle curls? Very important. Tell you, if you do this and you follow up with the top coat the next day, Guaranteed this will be perfect for 10 days. Oh my God, look! I'm really in with the in crowd. This looks fantastic, Jessica. It does look very pretty. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank it's you. Good. Well, I'll tell you, I was dubious about the color, but man, Jessica does the best manicure because, you know, I've had this on for a week dealing yeah. with my baby. And look! It still looks That's great. That's amazing. Never happens. She has got the technique down. And I have to say, I'm never wearing that dress again on camera. I look like Yeah, I literally, know, Jessica, I need you. I look like I've been gardening for a year. Okay, <laughs> anyway, so next time you get your manicure, remember, well, black is the new black. That's right. Now stay with us as we go from fingertips to beauty tips.